but I'm going to show you a few things that are really key on having really good success with this reel. You don't ever have to touch this side again on this little spool adjustment right here. If you're casting, you know, a half ounce weight, you might have it on one, but if you're casting a three ounce weight, you have to put it all the way over on three or four. What's going on? It's another lovely weekend out here on the water, trying to catch some fish, relaxing, enjoying the scenery. So today, I'm going to show you how to set up the Cast King Rover and what some of the buttons do. So, let me get a little closer to the screen here. This is your Cast King Rover. This is the 40. This is the smallest of the Rover series. Now, I use this for kayak fishing. It doesn't really need to hold a whole lot of line. It'll still hold 140 of 40 pound braid. I'm running actually a 25 pound mono on here right now. But I'm gonna show you a few things that are really key on having really good success with this reel. First thing is this adjustment knob on the side that the reel is on is not a drag adjustment. This spool adjustment right here is actually to line up the spool inside of the reel housing. Sometimes what'll happen is when the reels come from the factory, they don't have this adjusted right with this and this spool will be to one side in the reel or to the other side, which could cause the line to get stuck in between the little crack right there on either side. Now, you, that's the first thing that you want to adjust when you get this reel is you want to adjust the, this side spool to make sure that this spool is running in the center. Once this is set up in the center, you don't ever have to touch this side again on this little spool adjustment right here. Now for your casting, you want to adjust the outside one right here. This actually does have numbers on it all the way around from one to nine, I think. And there's a little bitty numbers on there, which is kind of nice because if you're casting, you know, a half ounce weight, you might have it on one, but if you're casting a three ounce weight, you have to put it all the way over on three or four. And then you can always remember when you change weights, you just go back to that same number, which is kind of nice. But you have to get it set up before you can do that because the numbers might not be exact, like I was saying. Um, and this is your drag adjustment. This is what adjusts how hard this tension of this reel actually comes out and apparently I have this set up way too hard. Oh, there we go. Um, these do have carbon fiber drag washers so they can take a whole lot more abuse. You can turn them a little or leave them a little looser than you would like a felt washer or a plastic washer for the drag. These won't get hot when a fish starts to run with it so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, once you get the drag adjusted, you know, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn this star drag so you can get, you want 10% of your um, line strength as your drag adjustment. You probably need one of your friends to help you do that. I just tie a scale to the line and pull it, hold the rod at a 45 degree angle, pull the line until, you know, it goes to whatever the poundage is for the drag. I think it was like six or eight pounds that the scale read before the drag broke free and started pulling drag with this 25 pound line. Now this button right here is your bait clicker. You can slide this down to engage your bait clicker, but what you have to do is you have to leave this casting button disengaged. So you have to push it down, push your bait clicker down, and what that allows to do is that allows the fish to actually pull line without really feeling that he's hooked. And it gives you time to get the rod out of the rod holder. When you do hook the fish, you know, just reel it. It will engage it, but it will still click when you're reeling. So all you gotta do is just slide this back up and that turns off that clicker. Uh, I always turn the clicker off because it's just kind of annoying reeling it in with that clicker going. So anyway, that is 
the basic setup on this reel I would recommend probably once every six or eight months putting just a tiny little drop of oil in the bottom of the reel right there it helps you know with that spool um, line guide going back and forth so anyway hope you enjoyed the video I hope it helps you guys have a great day and uh, next review will be on the Sharky 3 bait runner that's a pretty sweet reel stay tuned for that one